I mean, this is huge. Hey guys, I've got a new float panel from Novostella. And this is not my first product from them. Previously, I've talked about the light bulbs and a smaller float panels, which you can uh, check out the reviews in the corner. But today we're gonna talk about this beast. The beast that I nearly killed. When I received this panel initially, obviously I wanted to connect it as quick as possible, so I plugged the nearest adapter, because it comes with a US plug, plugged it into mains and nothing happened. After a couple of tries to actually get this to pair, I've discovered that this panel is specifically for US market and it does not support more than 120 volts. Obviously I'm in UK and I'm running 240 and I was fortunate enough not to kill it. Once I've realized that uh, I'm doing a big mistake, I purchased a converter so I could actually give it a try, pair it and share my opinion with you. So if you're planning on buying this and using the link below, just remember that you need to feed 110 volts for this to make it work. What sets this panel aside, especially from the previous panels, is that this, well, big, it's 60 watts, has a massive RGB LEDs, but also those RGB LEDs are addressable. I'm yet to discover if this 4x10 matrix is a true uh, individually addressable matrix or consists of 10 bars that are individually addressable. Uh, so while testing with different patterns and animations, they all use uh, four bars as the minimum uh, kind of resolution. You'll immediately notice that this panel is big, it's heavy, it's uh, made from cast metal, and it's waterproof because it's made for outside, so it has to uh, be able to operate even in the harshest of conditions. Now, I have no doubts that this thing is nearly waterproof and you won't be able to get inside, nor the weather elements. Now, what's striking is the size of individual LEDs. They're great, they're big and quite bright, and comparing to previous panels I've played with, they're much brighter. However, I have to mention that this panel doesn't come with dedicated white LEDs, so if you're going to compare white light com uh, coming from this panel versus something like the old Novastella panels, the old panels are much brighter because uh, this panel uses combined RGB to create white light and therefore it's much weaker. In my tests, I took the panel outside at night and cast some beautiful lights onto surrounding hedges, sheds and trees, and the corals were quite powerful and no doubt you'll be able to create quite cool visual effects. The Smart Life or Tuya app, because you can connect this panel to both of the apps, allow you to set several different animations. There is something to consider there. If you're going to display animation consists of multiple colors at the same time on the matrix, they will blend together and obviously you're gonna end up with average color illuminating from the panel itself. However, that's not going to be the effect on edge lights or maybe fringing on your shadows because on actual uh, shadows, you will see that the color consists of two different colors. So this is a different effect comparing to a panel with a single color light. Individual animations come with the settings that allow you to uh, set a different brightness or speed of animation and some of them also include different colors so you can blend different modes. There is also a music mode that uses built-in microphone on your mobile phone to synchronize the light effects with the playing music. Now, bear in mind that I've tried that on Tuya and that doesn't really work quite well, so in order to use this effect you have to use Smart Life App. Speaking of other options in the app, it integrates in Alexa or Google Home, so I don't see any problems there. You'll be able to use the voice commands to turn the lights on and off and switch colors. What you won't be able to do is select different animations using voice control. That's quite disappointing, especially that you don't have extra control over those uh, animations using built-in scenes. It would be great to have this option to trigger those scenes with the voice commands via Google Speaker. Unfortunately, you'll have to go into the device menu and select them manually. So what if you want to get this panel for your DIY home automation? This panel uses Tuya Cloud to connect, so uh, you can follow my guide about Tuya API. It's gonna link it in there in the corner. But due to the fact that this panel is sealed and completely bulletproof, you won't be able to open it up and flash um, the associated ESP device inside. Uh, I guess it's ESP32 perhaps, uh, with custom version of Tasmota. 
at least not without breaking the device. Previously you could use Tuya converts to flash device like this with Tasmota wirelessly, however that no longer works and we are out of options. So if you are looking for RGB floodlight, uh, whether to complement your Christmas or Halloween decorations, Novostella Aurora Lux is available for $79.99 on US market. There is additional $10 off if you use not enough code uh, at your checkout on uh, Ustella store. I'm gonna link that in the description of this video. Do let me know what would you use that panel for and what would you like to see other than obviously a custom way to create animation for a device like that. That would be quite awesome, especially if you could trigger them with custom commands. As for now guys, you know I don't have a posting schedule, so if you want to find out what's next, well, you know how YouTube works, I'm not going to explain that, but uh, if you follow me on social media, uh, then you'll get to um, see the snippets of the work in progress, and also if you have any uh, comments with the links, YouTube likes to, uh, well, remove those, so send me them over the social media instead. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next video. Take care, bye!